What's up, everybody? Mike Go back doing some box breaks. We've got 2020 tops, 206, wave three. We've got 12 boxes to break. Wave three is all minor league players, so a lot of hot prospects. Uh, people in this hobby are very much into prospects, of course. So all minor leaguers in wave three. Wave four gets back to the current day NFL players mixed with some legends of the past. So let's take a look at wave number three of Tops 206. Made in the same likeness of the original T206 cards. I am a big fan. Really enjoyed the minis. I've gotten very much into the tobacco cards and the pre-war stuff over recent years. So I find it uh, a fun product. I know Wave 1, because of the hobby hype, uh, sold way more than I think Topps was expecting, and therefore it was actually very difficult to pull parallels and their surprise autographs and stuff like that. So a lot of people weren't thrilled with that. Uh, wave 2, the print run dropped a bit. Wave 3, a little more. Wave 4 as well, but I think it's pretty much evened out. So we got Patino. Mauricio, Jones, Cassis, Jung, Pearson, Larnick, Vaughn, Spencer Howard, and C.J. Abrams. So, C.J. Abrams, Spencer Howard. Okay, they flipped it. The earlier ones, uh, the parallels were on the back, which was kind of a bit of a spoiler. So... We got two Piedmonts and a Sweet Caporal. So the Piedmonts were Mauricio and Jones, and the Sweet Caporal was Patino. So you do get two Piedmonts per box, and then you have a chance at other ones. Some of the rare parallels are serial numbered. You can get autographs. They're pretty tough. I've personally never pulled an autograph. I've seen a few on eBay in the 206s, but there's only a couple per wave. Wave 1, I think there might have been like five players. So I think there's only a couple in the minor league product. All right, pack number 2. All right, and this one's back to the way they used to be. So sweet Caporal there. It's another Spencer Howard. I'd say the biggest issue with these, Singer, off to a good start. Brian Hayes, Bobby Witt Jr. It's a nice one. Anyway, I think the biggest issue I've had with these is the centering. So another sweet Caporal. Two Piedmonts. Wave 1, I did build a set, which I still got to get some more binder sheets. I was going to binder it up. I'd love to build the entire uh, 206 set in a binder, but I don't currently have the uh, sets outside of Wave 1. And Wave 1, I bought a ton of this. I actually sent a whole bunch off to SGC for grading. So hopefully those will come back sooner rather than later. I think they'll look pretty sweet in the black tux. So if there's any collectors out there that are going to need any, I will definitely have extras. I just kind of went nuts and sent them a ton of stuff. All right, we got Green, Gorman, Rodriguez, Joe Adele, Neat Pearson, Waters, Blade, Kirilov, Lewis, and Pages. So a couple Piedmonts. Let's so look at the backs. I like the look of them. I definitely uh, prefer, personally, the uh, first few waves. And then I'm really looking forward to wave four. We've got a pretty sweet checklist in wave five. But I love the mix of current day stars, some rookies, and then the Hall of Famers mixed in. Obviously, the prospects, prospects are always awesome to go through like three to five years later. I mean... Obviously, some of these guys like Kellenic, very uh, well thought of. Joe Adele's already in the big leagues, so those are pretty cool. Wander Franca, one of the big prospects in baseball. So there are some names, but 
obviously most of these guys haven't uh, had a tremendous amount of time in the big leagues. Alec Bohm, that's pretty cool. He's off to a good start in Philadelphia, so that's a nice one for the collection. So what I'll most likely do is... I don't know if I'll be able to build a set. I'm, I'll probably just keep a selection for myself, sell off some of the extras. We'll see. Luciano, Huff, getting a lot of Bobby Witts. What in the hell happened to that back card? That is definitely destroyed. Adley Rutschman, they sealed the pack over it. Maybe I should put it as an eBay one of one. That's a shame. It is a base, so I guess that's kind of good news. Piedmonts were Luciano and Huff. But yeah, that's uh, damaged. Basically, I'm sure that card was stuck up. They sealed the pack. So, only one of him. Be nice to see a lot of these guys get a chance to get back out on the field. Usually there's tons of prospect hype in baseball. Obviously there's lots of rookie hype this year with a lot of guys making their major league debuts, but as terms of, in terms of lower level prospects, there's still some hype. Obviously when Bowman came out, Jason Dominguez is another Adley. Jason Dominguez and Bobby Witt got a lot of attention, but seems like a lot of the hype has uh, died down a little bit lately because they're just not on the field. Mount Castle, he made his debut. 2021 uh, Tops products are going to be crazy. Just so many uh, so many rookies in that product. Because Tops Update will take care of a couple, but not very many. The majority of this year's rookies, unless they were up early enough and just didn't get produced in Series 1 or 2, they won't have rookie cards in Update. Next year will be crushing with rookies even if there's no one off to a crazy hot start it'll just be such a deep rookie class i mean tops chrome the past couple of years been like 75 autographs like they might legitimately be able to make a 150 card autograph set cycle i forget how difficult the cycle ones are we'll see shortly mackenzie gore mount castle amaya Robinson, Madrigal, Spencer Howard, Pache, Adley, Mize, and Jared Kellenick. So not a bad one. Numbered to 25. So a Jared Kellenick cycle. And also got a sweet caporal, Casey Mize, and a couple Piedmonts. Rutschman and Christian Pache. Cool. Two, four, five boxes left. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you're collecting any of the T206 or did you kind of bounce after wave one? I know there's a lot of people who aren't into minis and oversized cards. Uh, a lot of that I've always found to be a storage issue. And I used to kind of be the same way a little bit with products. It's like you just didn't know what to do with them. But they do have mini soft sleeves, mini top loaders, mini magnetics. You can get them slab. They have sheets for it. So there are plenty of ways to store your minis. Another Pache. I see a lot of the same names. Matt Manning. Sweet Caporal. The Piedmonts are Pache and Amaya. Would love to see a little more Wander Franco in here. I think I got one that I remember. I'll tell you one thing. The low numbered stuff in this. I don't know about this current wave, but like wave one. I remember looking up and prices were pretty crazy. Very expensive, especially for a big name. Another Riley Green, 
Joey Bart, he's up. There's one with uh, some serious centering issues. Love some of these names. Naturals, well, the Braves, the Biscuits, the Dragons, the Tin Caps. Piedmonts. And our bases. Hard to believe baseball season is coming and going so quickly. Before you know it, playoffs will be here literally weeks away. It's so weird. Um, this has been a difficult year for me personally. I've had to change uh, the lifestyle completely due to the pandemic. And um, it's just been hard to get that kind of consistent... Uh, consistent feeling where you kind of come home and watch a game i'm uh seeing parts of games and following it later it's kind of weird so it's gone extra fast there's a nice sixto sanchez there's a wander franco luciano luciano sovereign so nice parallel piedmonts are got vaughn and Version and our base. I don't know. I mean, this whole year, 2020, has obviously been wacky for everyone. So, just so many things canceled and so many things interrupted. And we waited so long for baseball to start. And man, that 60 game season really uh, flies by. I always hear people say, oh, they need to shorten the season. Forget it. 162 is fine. I mean, if you want to go win 54, I guess, but. Guess what? Anyone who wants less baseball is probably not a big baseball fan, so I don't think they're coming to watch your games because you have less games. So, I mean, I basically ignore those those uh, people. I'm cool with the 162. Rodriguez, Kirilov, Beatty, Pache, Hunter Green, Mountcastle, Joe Adele, Wander Franco, Kellenic, and... Rio Ruiz or Kiebert Ruiz I should say alright so this pack they're flipped we do have a Sovereign Rodriguez and Kurloff and Beatty are our Piedmonts final box final box with a little smash in it so hopefully the cards are okay but this is a Tops On Demand product. I enjoy the Tops On Demand products. Generally, they make enough that you can get them if you want them. And I think they're uh, I think they're fun. And it's certainly better than you know having to revolve your life around trying to get to a Target or Walmart at the right time, and then have to battle half a dozen guys just to get a couple blasters and it's much better than buying a hobby box at two or three or four times what it should be all right final pack waters jung sixto sanchez nate pearson is that royce yep royce lewis jones scoobal kellenick anderson and hunter green so sovereign hunter green couple Piedmonts of Kellenic and Anderson and our base so what do 12 boxes look like well this is the way 12 boxes that are open looks like but what do you get out of them well here's a look at the base cards got a nice little stack of base here so that's your base and then sweet Caporal hit five. Piedmont, you get two per box, so it should be 24. So got some solid names, I'm sure, mixed in there. And then three cards that are a little tougher. Three Sovereigns, Luciano being the best of those names, and then a Cycle which is numbered to 25 of Jared Kellenick. So that's how I did. And only one uh, super damage card with uh, 
you know, the rippled top, unless that's some sort of super rare one of one variation that I'm unaware of. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.